Welcome to the Windows Computers and Technology channel and this is to talk about who gets a free ride to Windows 11. There's a lot of talk and people are saying, oh well you know we're getting free rides up to Windows 7. That is not true. The Insider Preview does give you a free ride right now even with a Windows 7 key. Yes, it does. But that's the Insider Preview and quite a few of the tech journalists out there have said that they've heard from Microsoft this is not going to be the case when Windows 11 is, uh, arrives on the market. One of the reasons probably is that a lot of Windows 7 machines do not have minimum requirement. And of course they want mostly newer hardware and people with Windows 10 to move on to Windows 11. So how do you do this? How could, is there a way for you using Windows 7 to make sure that you could have Windows 11 in some way? Yes. Remember, if you go and download the um, you know, media creation tool on the Microsoft web page, and if you upgrade from there, or if you upgrade in any way that you can upgrade to Windows 10, from Windows 7, you are still getting a free upgrade to Windows 10. If you have a valid Windows key for Windows 7 and Windows 8, you are still getting a free ride to Windows 10. Still works. But for that to happen, in order for it to work, you will need to do this first step. You want to have Windows 11 you have a Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine that is going to be compatible, then you need to upgrade to Windows 10 to have that free ride going to Windows 11. You cannot use and go directly to Windows 11 from one of those operating system for free. So that's going to be the step you'll need to take. Only Windows 10 machines are going to be uh, eligible for free upgrade to Windows 11. So it's very important to understand uh, that you will at some point have to move to Windows 10 in order to eventually go to Windows 11. Of course there's no rush. You can do that only in you know the end of the year when Windows 11 gets close. Uh, but just remember that even though it works for now pretty much everybody agrees that loophole will not exist anymore when Windows 11 is going to be officially launched. And so the only way to Windows 11 for free will be from Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.